Are you or a loved one disabled? Do you feel alone, lost, and confused as to how to win your social security case? If you're watching this video, it's probably because you have so many questions and you're desperately looking for the answers. Hi, my name is Avi Leibovic, and I'm the owner at In Benefits for All and the lead attorney at Avi Leibovic and Associates. Over the course of my 20-year career, I've overseen the processing and screening of over 500,000 disability cases, working with the largest hospitals, neighborhood clinics, primary care physicians, and even individuals who had no access to care at all, my strategies for how to win the case have made me one of the top experts in social security law in the entire nation. My life and my career were going great. And then one day it all came crashing down. It started first with some abdominal pains. And before I knew it, I'd been admitted to the hospital several times and I required multiple surgeries. I found myself unable to work and disabled and in desperate need of my own benefits. I understand exactly how you feel. I was in your shoes. And I'm going to take you through the process and help you and give you everything that I know so that you can win your case. I'm recovered and I'm back at work. And I have a newfound passion for helping disabled people because I myself have been there too. Call our office today for a free screening and to see how we can help you with your social security case. At the same time, enjoy these videos and webinars that we've prepared to you to help you understand how to win your social security case. Hey everyone, this is Avi Leibovic and you're watching another amazing webinar brought to you by Benefits for All, where we teach you how to win your social security disability benefits without having to pay the cost of an expensive attorney. Today's topic is overcoming fear. We're standing in the middle, literally in the middle of pitch dark of a field off of the highway, Route 66, historic Route 66 in Amarillo, Texas. And we're standing by a display of public art, which is called the Cadillac Ranch. 10 Cadillacs, which were put here in 19, early 1970s by a bunch of hippies. It was commissioned by a local uh, millionaire who wanted to make some public type of art. And little by little, people have come out here and has become a place where people are coming more and more in order to show off their art, in order to express themselves, in order to uh, make some type of statement. So I really was going to talk about something relating to um, applications, but you know what? I'm here and I want to talk about something different. We're going to make it quick. We're going to talk about overcoming fear. I'll tell you a little secret. I drove up and down this highway for like 20 minutes trying to find this place. There's no doors, there's no signs, there's a little entrance in between the barbed wire. And with the flashlight, a high-powered flashlight, I couldn't even see it. I walked, you know, probably about a five-minute walk from the car into the middle of a black field. And I'll tell you something, I was scared, and I'm a little scared even now. I have expensive gear. I have my car with all of my belongings parked over there. No crew, no cameraman, no hair salon people. So I was scared. Fear, F-E-A-R, right? And that's what I want to talk about, overcoming fear. So I got here, I drove so far, and I said, you know what, this is crazy. I gotta go back to, uh, back to the car. I can't get out over here. Who knows who's in the middle of this field? The truth is, I still don't know who's in the middle of this field here. There could have been people here, there's beer bottles, different things going on. It's really not a safe situation, that's the truth. And I should get back to my car for my own safety and security, and also because I'm a father of uh, seven children, and um, I'd like to stay that way. But here's the point. Many of you at home, I've had an opportunity over my career to speak to thousands and thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of people. And often I say to them, well, why aren't you getting treatment? What's going on? I'm afraid. I don't want to go to the hospital. I don't want to go to the doctor. I don't know what type of medication they're going to give me. I'm afraid of what they're going to tell me. I don't like hospitals. I don't like shots. Whatever it is, everyone has fears. I know someone who needed an MRI or a CAT scan or something where they have to go into the machine 
and they're claustrophobic, they would not get in the machine because of fear. They took a pill to calm them down, they still wouldn't get in the machine. But yet they needed the scan. They ended up winning the case, but until you got the, the, the patient into the, the scan, into the machine, that person had to overcome fear. They had to go outside of their comfort zones in order to go ahead and overcome the fear and accomplish whatever needs to be done. My comfort zone was in my car. My comfort zone was driving along safely, spending the night in a hotel, and moving on tomorrow, right? Keep going through Texas, keep heading, right? Keep heading over. Maybe go up to Colorado. We have to see which direction we're gonna go, right? Maybe Kansas. There's a whole bunch of things that are, a whole bunch of states, Oklahoma, probably, that are right around here. That's my comfort zone in my car, but you know what? If I wanted this shot, if I wanted you guys to see this, I had to go outside my comfort zone. I had to go into the black field, into the black unknown, into the darkness, in order to go ahead and get this shot. So we're gonna wrap the shot up now because it is a little dangerous. I don't wanna make sure my car is there when I get back. But my point is like this. If you wanna win your social security case, if you really wanna win your social security case, you're gonna to need to overcome some of the fears that you have about the social security process. You need to overcome some of the fears that you have about perhaps previous applications that got denied or previous experiences that you've had with Social Security Administration or any other government uh, agency. You have to overcome that, go outside your comfort zone in order to do what you need to do, which is apply and get your benefits. You need those benefits. You're not feeling well, you're disabled. Okay, if you need some help, you call a friend, you call someone who's a support, within your support unit, your support team, a family member, if you need to call my office, you call my office, go on the website, www and benefits for all. But the point is, is that in life in general, everyone needs to go outside of their comfort zones. They need to conquer the fear in order that what? In order they can reach the highest levels of success. So I give you all a blessing, everyone over here in the middle of a field, with just the moon and the stars as my witness and all of you as my witness. At the bottom of my heart, I hope that you win your case. From the bottom of my heart, I hope that these webinars help you. I really do. It's not so much about the money for me. It's really about helping people. That's a little secret. Shh. You know, I have to have a reputation as a tough attorney with the judges and fighting with the administration, SSA, Social Security Administration, to win those cases. But the truth is, I'm a big softy. And when I meet claimants, when I meet clients, when I meet patients who are desperately in need of help, who are filled with fear, they don't know how to turn. How am I gonna get evicted? How am I gonna pay my bills? How am I gonna get my medicine? Who's gonna help me? Who's gonna help me? Who's gonna help me? I'm all alone, I have no family, I have no friends. Fear, you can't let the fear freeze you. You can't let it lock you down. You can't let it put you in a bed and get out of bed afraid to move or leave you in the house afraid to move. You have to go outside your comfort zones in order to accomplish what you need to accomplish. And I know that you can do it. Watch this video a bunch of times and you can see, you can do it, right? You can do it, I'm telling you. If you wanna take the trip down here, Amarillo, Texas, Cadillac Ranch, it's um, permitted, even though the state law says you can't uh, put graffiti on things. Uh, the owner of this area, of this uh, field, and the owner of this public art display has encouraged people to come here and graffiti and write whatever messages they write. It's too bad I don't have any paint with me. If I did, I would have written and benefits for all, but I don't think I have that. It doesn't think it works. Maybe we'll just put a, uh, oh. All right, there's nothing in that. And benefits for all, www and benefits for all. My name is Avi Leibovic. I'm here to help you. Trust me when I say I'm here to help you. You just need to help yourself. You need to overcome that fear. You need to overcome that fear and you can do it. I know that you can do it, okay? Best of luck. I look forward to, uh, to speaking with you again soon. It's too bad it's not the day. Pretty colorful. Anyways, come check it out, all right? Maybe what we can do, let's try something. Let's try to take the camera and walk along it quickly. And let's see when we do that, if everyone can enjoy it a little bit. Okay, here we go, folks. Until next time. Let's go, let's check it out. All right, Cadillac Ranch, 10 Cadillacs. Who would have thought, right? You can see on the floor here, you got bottles, you got spray paint. I really hope no one jumps out of one of these cars. 
It's in the middle of the desert. Up ahead a little bit, you can see some pink neon way in the distance. That's called the Cadillac Ranch RV. RV trailer home or trailer park or something. And people go there and they obviously they park their RVs as they're traveling or they stay for extended periods of time. And that's it. Cadillac Ranch. Let's go the other way. You see, you thought that you were hiring some boring attorney. You thought you were hiring some attorney who just sits behind a desk. I also have fear. I also was worried to come out here, but you know what? I'm happy that I overcame my fear, and I'm happy I came out here, and I'm really happy that I haven't bumped into anyone yet. Although there's a little mouse or rat. But okay, this is it. The field. Trust me, there's nothing here. And with that, my friends, for the final time, I wish you the best of luck. I wish you only success. My name is Avi Leibovic, WWM Benefits for All. Come check it out, okay? I hope I can help you out. I hope you can help yourself out, overcome that fear. Thank you very much.